So recently, and what everyone is talking about, unless you lived under a rock and didn't know about the internet, is that Leafy is banned from YouTube. Like, his account is gone and everything. Honestly, when the news first came out, I was kind of surprised at this because while I thought that Leafy did come back and you can kind of see how his persona is similar to him back in 2016 before he left YouTube, he didn't really do much compared to what he did back then. Leafy basically just dropped what he dubbed the content nuke on Pokimane and then just clickbaited Pokimane a bunch while talking about stocks and what to invest and all of that. When Leafy got banned, people had a largely mixed reaction, like anyone you talked to about the ban either hated it or loved it. There was no in-between that I saw, especially on Twitter. Now, I won't be posting most of these reactions, but if you guys want to see most of these interactions, I highly recommend checking out videos made by uh, Bo Blacks, who gives a basic o overview in his Twitter vs. Leafy's Termination series to see the general idea of the community's reaction to Leafy's ban. My personal thoughts on the Leafy ban now is that while Leafy did have some fucked up content back in 2016, and he absolutely did deserve the criticism back then, his current ban makes no sense for several reasons. First off, his current videos were just him dicking around talking about stocks and whatnot for the most part. Supposedly, the reason why YouTube banned Leafy was because of targeted harassment, even though most of the recent videos he made were just clickbaiting Pokemon. I mean, I can kind of see where this is harassment accusations are coming from, even though I feel like it's more just Leafy milking the Pokemon drama that spawned. He even admitted it in a video or two, I think, but unfortunately his channel is deleted, so there's really no way to prove that. And if it was like really that necessary, Leafy should have just been given a strike and that would be it. However, by the same logic that YouTube used to ban Leafy due to targeted harassment, H3H3 should also be banned due to him making multiple videos on Keemstar. And unlike Leafy's videos, those were not just clickbait where he just put Keemstarts in the title and thumbnail and they just talked about a completely unrelated topic. Which would be even more of a reason to ban H3H3 rating Leafy if YouTube was consistent with their policies. Like, I'm not saying that Keem is perfect and doesn't deserve criticism. I'm just saying that YouTube is being really selective with their Insta bans. The thing that gets me with Leafy's ban is while YouTube said that Leafy was banned due to target harassment, he did not have any active strikes on his channel, which means that YouTube just completely banned him out of the blue. And while you can make the excuse that YouTube is a private company, they can do what they want. That doesn't mean people have to approve of this decision. Especially when YouTube is ran by Google, which practically has a monopoly on the internet. Another speculation to Leafy's ban is that in one of his videos, he posted a video clip at the end where he is showing H3H3 killing his own wife, Hila, before killing himself. I would say that maybe this could contribute to the reason why he was banned, but that wouldn't really make much sense because if Leafy did get banned because of that video, then why am I still able to find the original video that Leafy used still up? Wouldn't that video also get removed because that's what Leafy used in his video and it apparently counts as harassment towards another creator? While I do agree that some of Leafy's old videos were fucked, there's simply no way around it. And I can see where people are coming from with harassments in regards to Pokimane, the clickbait thumbnail slash title, even though I don't exactly agree with that. I still do not know why Leafy decided was banned instead of like given a strike by YouTube, especially when some of Leafy's videos got age restricted due to mass spams back when he had the Pokimane drama from the content nuke he made. And YouTube themselves undid the age restriction and put him back on trending. So he got, so he was on trending by YouTube. He got taken down because the video got age restricted. And then he appealed it and it got appealed and it got put back on trending. So YouTube just decided to put things that quote unquote break their TOS in trending. Which is strange because you know the trending tab is manually selected by YouTube and they decide to put something that broke TOS? Like, what? Also, if YouTube did have a problem with Leafy's old videos, because like I said before, they were fucked. Some of them were fucked. Why couldn't they have just simply removed the offending videos themselves? Like, if it was something 
back in 2016 that caused him to get banned. And before anyone says that, no, that's not YouTube's responsibility. YouTube have already demonstrated their ability to just mysteriously remove videos with no prior warning. They have done this in the past with Filthy Frank and iDubbbz. So I fail to see why they couldn't remove some of Leafy's spicier videos in a similar fashion. The thing that really gets me with Leafy's ban is how he was banned and not some other people that I feel like are more deserving of a ban from YouTube than him. Like, how are you going to ban Leafy and not ban people like Taddy Westbrook, Shane Dawson, and Jeffree Star for nearly getting James Charles cancelled in the beauty community for some just for some extra followers? Like, the beauty community, like, extra followers and powers. Like, the beauty community houses some of the most malicious people I have ever seen on YouTube. And, and they just get a pass? Oh, and let's not talk about how Logan Paul took a little uh, expedition to Japan. And he went to a particular forest where he uh, put an uncensored dead body on YouTube for kids to see. YouTube put it on trending and gave him a slap on a wrist. Finally, there's also a, a YouTuber called Pollution Entertainment who is notorious for posting videos of cats dying slash him abusing cats and his channel's still up. And, and these are just major things I can list right now at the top of my head. I'm sure there's more. People that I want to talk about briefly in regards to their opinions on the Leafy's ban were uh, H3H3. The reaction from H3 was pretty basic. It was just him memeing about Leafy being banned. Now, I know there's like a conspiracy theory going around that H3 uh, got Leafy's channel terminated, but I personally don't think that because the evidence that I've seen surrounding it is circumstantial at best. My overall thoughts on the ban is that while you don't have to like Leafy, it is not good that YouTube can simply choose to ban people with no prior active strikes on their channels and just nuke them without a moment's notice. I would say that this is a bad standard to set, but YouTube already demonstrated that they were willing to do it with Monkey Jones. I just feel like YouTube is focusing more and more on being a safe zone for creators and corporate talk shows and abandoning the people that made YouTube into the site that it is today for more mainstream appeal. Well, that's all for now. See ya.